Hello, welcome to this guided meditation for all artists everywhere. You are so appreciated for the beauty, surprise, and creative expression that you add to life. Many would consider nature to be the most creative masterpiece of all time. Art is a very close second and it would not get made by itself. Art would not get made without you. So thank you for all the books, essays, songs, paintings, dances, movies, meals, sculptures, poems, sketches, blueprints, floor plans, user interfaces, websites, handcrafted goods, fashion, styles, jewelry, desserts, landscapes, gardens, and lives that you make more enjoyable. What would this world be like without art? Dreadful, that's how. Life can be challenging, especially during times of confusion and division. We need to be elevated. We need the gravity of Earth's madness to be lightened somehow. And you help with that, dear artist. So this meditation is to celebrate you and the gifts of your creativity. Please listen when you can deeply settle into a very comfortable chair or even lie down on a couch or bed that feels wonderful beneath you and allows you to feel fully at ease. If you like, close your eyes as that will help you focus on your breath. Breath is so closely related to inspiration, which is one of the things that fuels your art. Inhale deeply as much air as you can take in. Then completely exhale all of that air out. Imagine that each breath is inspiration actually entering you and filling your beautiful mind and body. More and more fresh, inspired breath is oxygenating your blood and your brain and even your imagination. Bring your attention to your eyes. When you close them, you can see differently. Take a moment to consider how vision supports your creative craft. Imagination is a form of inner vision. Imagination is an inner eye that sees beyond edges and limits. It envisions what's possible with the enormous optimism of an uncorrupted child. Let your inner eye and physical eyes enjoy this rest from the work of regular seeing, which looks at the outer world. During this journey, you'll enjoy your inner world. Keep breathing in inspiration. on your ears. How do audible sounds influence your art? If you like, take the thumb and pointer finger 
of each hand and pinch squeeze, pinch squeeze all along the lobes of your ears from the top section all the way down to the bottom of your lobes. Pinch squeeze, pinch squeeze. Doing this touches many acupressure points and should leave you with a very pleasant tingling sensation of aliveness. Do you ever create while listening to binaural beats or isochronic tones? They may help arouse your brain with new ideas for your art. And let's not forget the very sacred sound of quiet. With your eyes still closed and your breathing still deep, not shallow, let's bring grateful attention to your hands. How do you use your hands in your creations? Do you design, type, or handwrite? Sketch, draw, or paint? Sculpt, drum, so, knit or crochet? Do you merge with an instrument or a microphone? Fingers and palms enable us to do so much. Hands help make you a maker. With your hands, you can receive and hold, which is like inhaling. And you can also offer and share, which is like exhaling. Is it fun and poetic to think about your hands breathing like this? Now, let's move on and direct focus and appreciation for your voice. How do you use your voice in speech or song? From soprano to bass, soothing or energizing, your human voice vibrates on your behalf and audibly expresses your heart to the world. Do you remember, friends, whispering secrets? of the human voice is wonderful, sometimes soft, sometimes booming. It can span like a horizon, it can call to war. Now that we've considered the physical parts of your human vessel that make your art possible, let's prepare to journey to the stream of fresh ideas. This is a very special and internal place you can always invoke and top up on inspiration and innovation whenever needed. It's an amazing and limitless internal resource. Ready to visit? Begin by allowing a guide from this stream of fresh ideas to appear to you. With your inner eye, you will see a representative or a symbol. Perhaps an animal, a plant or flower, an angel or ancestor. 
depending on your beliefs and practices, the most suitable image will show and may even change over time. It has come to guide you to the stream of fresh ideas. A beautiful path appears in front of you. Your guide is urging you to follow it along the moss-covered path. The path feels soft beneath your feet. Each step you take sinks down just a little, like super thick carpet, but emerald green and alive. It's so pleasant and enjoyable. You're glad to be barefoot, and you let the moss whisper secrets of the earth into the soles of your listening feet. What is the moss telling you? Your guide prompts you now to resume walking forward. You love feeling protected by the friendly forest on either side of you and by your trusted guide in front of you. Everything here seems to want your well-being. It's like a positive conspiracy. You notice violet and cobalt butterflies spiraling and flutter dancing overhead. flowers, wild and free, sprawling everywhere. They make the air smell like musk and honeysuckle. There are also plump red and purple berries that you can't resist plucking and popping into your mouth. the sweet taste and hope the juice stain on your fingers will remain, like a temporary souvenir from this magical place. You finally hear water bubbling over rocks. You feel so excited to be approaching the stream of fresh ideas. It's so beautiful clear and sparkling. It actually sounds like the water is singing. Deciding to, again, listen to the earth with your feet, you walk into the stream and stand and listen. Take your time 
and luxuriate in this limitless resource. Only when you feel ready, open your physical eyes. inside you.